Hey guys, it's Alicia. Welcome to another What's for Dinner on WW. Now this What's for Dinner is all about chicken. To be specific, I am gonna be showing you five of our favorite chicken recipes that I have made this last couple of weeks. These are some that we have been eating for years and absolutely love. Now I've already done separate videos on four of these and I will link those down below in the description box so you can find the instructions, ingredients, and points in the description boxes of those videos. But I'm also gonna be showing one that I have not shown on my channel before. And for that one, I will have all its information down in this description box. But let me jump in here and show you what we had for dinner this last couple weeks. This first one is broccoli chicken and cheese casserole. Now this is one that I had kind of forgotten about. I hadn't made it in a couple years or so and I stumbled across this recipe and was really happy to find it because I remembered how much I really enjoy this one. It's not only really tasty, it is very easy. So that is why it is one of my favorites. It starts off with some whole wheat macaroni, some cooked and chopped boneless skinless chicken breast, a little bit of skim milk and some steamed broccoli florets. Next, you're gonna add in a couple cans of low fat cream of mushroom soup. I'm using this Fit and Active that I get at Aldi. Now I add in some low fat cheese and as usual, I'm using my favorite, the Kroger brand, Mexican style, 40% less fat. Give that a little stir and then add in some fresh black pepper, some onion powder, granulated garlic, and then give it another good stir. Now I'm gonna get myself a 13 by nine inch pan, or close to, I don't think that one is quite 13 by nine inch. And then I'm gonna just pour this in there and smooth it out. I'm using a nonstick pan, so I didn't prep it with any cooking spray first, but if you're not, you might wanna give it a quick spray with a little cooking spray. Now, once I've got this done, I'm gonna bake it at 350 for about 30 to 35 minutes. Next, I'm gonna sprinkle some breadcrumbs evenly on top, followed by some Parmesan cheese. Then I'm gonna bake at 350 again for an additional 15 minutes. And here it is done. Now, if you wanted to have more of a browned top on this, you could definitely broil it for a couple minutes, but I tend to burn things when I broil, so I just bake it for that 15 minutes. All right, since I have never shown this on my channel before, I don't believe I have anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and have my hubby try it. Tell you what he thinks of it. It has been a very long time since I've made this, which is why I'm pretty sure I don't have this or have a video on this. Go for it. I'm a big fan of casseroles. That's what this is, right? Yeah, it's a casserole. So there's actually a really strong broccoli flavor. So if you don't like broccoli, this one's not for you. Yeah. That's what you're saying. <laughs> um, yeah, it's really nice. So you, like I said, you got the broccoli and it's creamy. Um, the dish is creamy, not the broccoli. Um, you know, I like the taste of the chicken, that's savory, and then the breadcrumbs kind of add a nutty note to the profile. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a good combination. I like the way that season just, it's not heavily seasoned one way or the other. Well, and we don't put salt in stuff like this just because... Um, I'm middle-aged and I have high blood pressure. We're middle-aged and I don't have high blood pressure, but yeah, we, we try to cut back on it just because of that, so. Mushrooms, I like mushrooms. There's no mushrooms in that. Oh, what's that? What's what? What's that? Oh, that's cream of mushroom soup. Yeah. So I guess technically. <laughs> so that's mostly what I'm, I'm tasting as a cream of mushroom. I put mushrooms in everything, so actually they would probably go in this too, but then you'd have to uh, cook them first. Yeah. All right, so you're a fan of this. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, it's been a very long time. I make some some things that are similar to this one, but this one specifically, I think I, I've been making probably for over 10 years and it's probably been at least a couple since I've made it. So anyway, just thought I'd have him try that and let you know what he thought. A serving size of this is a sixth of the casserole for eight points on green, seven points on blue, and five on purple. With it, we also had a side salad with some zesty Italian fat-free dressing. No points for either one of those for a dinner total tonight of eight points for us on green. Next is chicken pancit which is another easy but very tasty one. It is also low in points, which is why it's one of our favorites. It just starts off with a wok that I've got heated up here and I've got a little bit of olive oil spritzed in there. And I'm just gonna add in a red onion that I've chopped up and some mushrooms that I've chopped up. I'm gonna just let those cook in there until they both start to soften. And while those veggies are cooking, I've got a pot over here with some water that I'm heating up for my rice noodles or rice sticks there that I'm using. You just want to cook your rice noodles according to whatever the package says. These type, you will just simply add them to hot water and let them sit for about 10 minutes until they soften. Next, I'm gonna add a little fresh ground black pepper to this and a little granulated garlic. I typically like to use minced garlic or fresh garlic, but I'm completely out, so I'm gonna use the granulated. And then I'm gonna add in a bag of coleslaw and just mix all this together and let that coleslaw get to a point where it's mostly softened. Next, I add in some green onions that I've chopped up and some cooked and chopped chicken breast. And then I also add in a little bit of soy sauce and I just stir all of this together and continue to let it cook for another few minutes. Then I add in my rice noodles and I kind of just chop these up with a spatula and stir them in real well. And here's a serving of that, which is an eighth of the total. And it's about one and three quarter cups. It is going to be four on green and just three on blue and purple. So dinner for us tonight was just four points. Next up is Crock-Pot Cream Cheese Chicken Chili. I absolutely love this stuff, how easy it is, how good it tastes, and that it is a Crock-Pot recipe. I love using my Crock-Pot, and so this is one of two of the recipes today that are gonna be done in the Crock-Pot. This starts with a can of black beans that I have rinsed and drained. I don't always do that. Sometimes I just toss the whole can in there. And then a can of corn with the liquid and a can of Rotel. And then you're gonna add a little bit of taco seasoning to this, a packet of ranch dressing. I just use this stuff from Aldi and it works pretty good. Tastes just like Hidden Valley as far as I'm concerned. And then a chopped red onion. Then you're gonna just give this a quick stir and then you're gonna nestle two chicken breasts in here. Now, this recipe is usually done with frozen chicken breasts I had these cooked already, so I used cooked. I would suggest though, if you're gonna use already cooked breasts, that you add a cup of chicken broth to this, which is what I ended up doing and I didn't show it here, uh, but you need that chicken broth to make up for the liquid that would typically come off of your frozen breasts that you're not getting when you use cooked ones. You're gonna add a block of a third less fat cream cheese, put the lid on this and cook it on low for about five hours. Here is a serving of that, which is just about a cup. I went ahead and topped mine with a little fresh cilantro. And this is going to be seven points on green and just three on blue and purple. So really low on blue and purple. We also had with this some of these cornbread muffins. One of these is going to be three on green and just two on blue and purple. So dinner tonight for us was 10 points and it would just be five on blue and purple. Also, I will link the cornbread muffin video up above and down below if you want to check those out. Next up is crock pot chicken, mushroom and rice casserole. This is one again that we have been making for probably over a decade now and it is still one of our favorites. 
it starts off with some chicken broth, fat-free chicken broth, and then you're gonna add in some chopped carrots, celery, red onions, and mushrooms. I give that a quick stir. Add in some uncooked brown rice, a little bit of minced garlic, some Worcestershire sauce, some Dijon, and a little bit of sage. And then finally I add in some black pepper, give it a little bit of a stir again, and then I add in two chicken breasts, uncooked chicken breasts, put the lid on it, and set it to low for five to seven hours. Once the chicken is fully cooked, you wanna shred it up and then stir it all together. Here's a serving of that, which is actually a pretty good sized serving because it is a fifth of the total. And on green, it's gonna be six points. It's gonna be four on blue and zero on purple. So if you're on purple, this is a great one. Great zero point recipe. Like I said, we absolutely love this. It is so flavorful and just so easy to make. So dinner for us tonight is six points. Next up is chicken noodle casserole. This is a favorite because it is a lightened up version of classic comfort food that we absolutely love. And this is also very kid friendly too. So another reason why we really like this one. This starts with boiling up some wheat noodles and then while that's going, you're gonna take a large bowl and add in some chopped chicken breast. You're gonna add in a bag of frozen mixed vegetables. I let mine slightly defrost before I put them in there. Two cans of cream of chicken soup, low fat. I use this stuff from Aldi. Some skim milk, a little bit of fat-free Greek yogurt. You could use fat-free sour cream if you don't want to use Greek yogurt. A little bit of shredded Parmesan and some black pepper. Then you're gonna just stir all of this together really well, and then add in your cooked noodles and stir again. Next, you're gonna get a 13 by nine inch casserole dish, spray it with a little cooking spray, and pour your mixture in there. Then you're gonna smooth it all out nicely, and you're gonna bake at 400 for about 25 minutes. Then you're gonna add some cheese. I use this Mexican style blend and you're just gonna evenly put that on the top and then you're gonna put this back in the oven again at 400 for another five minutes or so or until that cheese is melted. And it looks like this. Now here is a serving size of that which is an eighth of the total casserole and it is going to be nine on green, six on blue, and four on purple. So dinner tonight for us was nine points. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing five of our favorite WW chicken recipes, and maybe one of these or more is something that you would like to try yourself. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one.